Tough. What are we doing today? Ah, first, cheers. <laughs> today, we're gonna chat about something very chilling, you know? Very chilling. Turn on combos. Turn on combos? Yeah, that's oh, that's why this combo. is coffee and not tea. Exactly. I see. So you made a list of combos that make you win the game on turn one, is mm -hmm. that correct? And you're here to share them with me, and yeah. I decide if they're juicy or we not. just have a little chat, and you tell me, yeah, do you tell me how you like them. This will be a short video, so we're just gonna talk about the combos, but before we get into it, if you do like it, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up the fact that we do appreciate if you sub. If you click that sub, it doesn't cost you anything, but it really, really helps the channel. Uh, who knows, maybe if we you sub, we'll give Todd a cup with his you have first letter on it. Yeah, you enough. Uh, oh, you can make like this a sub goal. It's like for 50,000, I get a T. For like a 100,000, like 50,000 subs the, the, against a T? The cup with the T. Ah. And then for 100,000, I get like an H. And for 150,000, it's your face carved into a cup? Oh, very good. Then please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you uh, have turn one combos, which I didn't mention, right? You can write them in the comments. People are very creative on turn one combos. Yeah, if you liked these and you're like, well, I wonder if there's more scrolled down, there's probably other people who've mentioned them in the comments below. All right. Honorable mention time. Oh, okay, we even have honorable mentions. We have a lot of this. honorable mentions. Do you know One With Dead? I do not know One With Dead. Uh, it would surprise me if you do. It's actually a playtest card from the Mystery Boosters. Okay. Which just costs one blank man and says, you lose the game. Which is a turn one combo. <laughs> you beat yourself. <laughs> well, we said turn one win. It doesn't mean you have to win, just somebody uh -huh. wins. I see, very good. Okay, that's a good honorable mention. I like that. Then we come actually to the things where you win. Okay. But this, So honorable mention number two very prominent in uh, vintage stuff, is Mishra's Workshop, Tradesphere. Tradesphere. Okay, that's not win the game. It's uh, literally sometimes you just win the game. Basically, because everything costs three, everything and Mishra's Workshop taps for three. For an artifact, yeah, but you just cast an issue and then you actually have three mana for the next artifact to cast. So, mm -hmm. so you're yeah. playing a land and your opponents play a third of a land every turn. Mm -hmm. And they have like moxes and stuff which costs way too much, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's basically winning the game. Well, actually now the next three, actually all of them, I happen to see them, but they don't really count as turn one winning, so you will you see happen I mean. to see them, and then you've played against them. I have seen them happen in real life. Okay, okay. So, so honor range number three is Leyline of the Void against Dredge, which really is like specifically the vintage version of Dragus. You play Leyline, and they like nice game. Vintage is no land dredge, right? Yeah, so yeah. So they can't even hard cast their creatures. They maybe sometimes they have like uh, the green force or something, but usually you just win. All right, then I've also seen this happening. Do you know demonic consultation? Because one black mana, you name a card, and then you exile the top cards of your library, like 10, they go away, and then you hit until you hit the card. So wait, is this another you defeat yourself by naming a card you don't have? Yes, I actually lied before that the only one, <laughs> but this one actually happened. Very uh, frequently, also because you played it in tournament situations, you named mm, Black Lotus, and then you exiled your Black Lotus. And oh, well, that's dangerous because you only play one. Yes, you only play one. But if you don't have it in the top 10 cards, you just win the game, usually. Yeah, so like you could even name Lion's Eye Diamond and all four of them are at the top of your library, and then that could happen. You mill yourself for one it happened somewhere, but uh, okay. yes, I have one more honorable mention. Okay. This is good. It's actually a turn zero win that happened. You don't show up. No, no, you show up. So it happened at the German Nationals, and the opponent goes like, fetch land, fetch, right? And the opponent slams four archive traps, <gasps> which mills for four times 13, which happens to be 52. Which is which minus the which card you're fetching and your hand, well, you're not actually gonna Well, you fetch the card, you yeah. down to 52 cards in the library, and then they're all gone. Oh no. That happened, was very good. All right, number five, turn one kills. All right. You gotta start with the classic, right? What's the best one? What's the classic? What I mean, this is, this is the prominent way of mountain, lotus, channel, Fireball. Exactly. Those are forbidden words around here at Card Market. The cards are not. No, this is since the beginning of Dawn of Magic, people did this. Yeah. And happened to easy, I mean, it's only four cards. It's one of the first combos. You do that on turn one quite re uh, regularly, especially if you play more than like multiple times, as mm -hmm. you could earlier. Number four, we have kind of stuff you can also do in some of the cubes. Uh, which happens to involve... Two and on turn one, does it involve Black Lotus again? A lot I feel of like, those. I feel like most like, of these will involve Black Lotus. A lot of them Lotus. you can circumvent by Black Lotus. Okay. But Black Lotus is just very easy to win. So you play Tolarian Academy. Okay. Which makes a mana for each artifact you have. Mm -hmm. Then you play some random zero mana artifacts. You dig out your hand. Yeah, you play Time Twister, you untap it, your, your land, and then you're just storming off. Only Academy really allows you to do that very easily. You need a payoff way to win, but yeah. In the end, actually, winning is kind of redundant because you have so much mana. I mean, 
once Academy makes like seven mana, you can cast Palinchron, mm -hmm. or you can uh, Candelabra, which untaps a land, and Rings of Brightheart, which copies it, so you can untap it. So, so you have to focus, it's a whole deck combo, you have to focus your whole deck around it, but you end up winning on turn. It, ha it happens in cubes, and especially if you have Academy. You need to have a really expensive cube. Well, a vintage cube one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, number three, actually a real deck. You will all know it, some will hate it, most will hate it. It's Belcher. <gasps> Can you win with Belcher on turn one? Belcher says you four mana to cast it, right? So you're gonna have to make four mana to cast uh, the yeah. thing. So once again, our best friends in turn one comboing, we're using Moxis and Black Lotus, right? I mean, you gotta have to make the mana eventually. Yeah, and you don't have there's lands no, in your deck. Surprisingly, you I mean, I don't know what the developers did there, but surprisingly, there's no one mana card that just wins the game. You know, it's <laughs> like you have to make mana somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So you cast the Belcher somehow, which costs four mana. Per rituals, you have Ever Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide, Lotus Petal, whatever. Mm -hmm. And once you have it in play, you can use Lion's Eye Diamonds to make three mana. You have no land in your library, or one with land grant sometimes. And you just, boo! You one shot your opponent. This is a very good way to win the game on Off turn one. Yeah, it's basically playing a, a game of Uno. You know, you just, yeah. you just look at it. You mulligan until you have it. I actually got much better with the London Mulligan because. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you can just get rid of the cards you need. Yeah, like going to six and five actually is really bad for the deck. But once you can choose, it's quite good. Six and five, I'd imagine all you need is Black Lotus, Mox Pearl, and Belcher. Yes, you only need a Black Lotus. Well done. That's it. So, number two, actually doesn't need Lotus. Just wow. needs one extra mana. Honestly killing your opponent on turn one. Actually, uh, somehow even modern viable, I think. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so what you do have, you need? You need to create one blue and one green mana. Okay. However you want. Spirit guides, whatever. Island, other spirit guide. Mana or yeah. whatever. Then you may put Allosaurus right into play, which is a seven mana green creature that where you remove exile two green cards, yep. then it's for free. And you cast Neoform. Neoform. Oh, that's why you said green and blue. Oh, Neoform can win on turn one. Yes. And then you get Grizzlebrand. Grizzlebrand draws seven 14 cards. cards, like two times seven. Yep. If you find a Nourishing Shoal, you can get more life and draw more cards. In Legacy, the variant plays Child of Corliss, which is like a one mana white creature who gives you back the life you lost this turn. You actually yep. gain back the 14 life. If you paid more, you gain back more. Mm -hmm. And eventually you do whatever. You find a way. Yeah. If you draw if your you, own If deck. you have your deck in your hand, yeah, you yeah. kind of do whatever. People use Bobby Bobo Rogimus or whatever. <laughs> Barbarigmos. Yeah, yes. this one. And number one, and this is, I'm, I'm a bit biased because that is Kind of cool. Also, technically not turn one. If you want to like be picky about it, you get three mana. Is your number one not turn one? I mean, your opponent will scoop turn. What one, did you tell me the name of the video was going to be? Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. I will present it. You, you argue. You judge okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. So you gotta have to get three mana. Um, we can do it per Lotus. We can do it like uh, Island something something. You need to, and then you play okay. show and tell, right? All right, and what are you showing or telling? You're show and telling Hive Mind. Hive Mind is a six mana enchantment. But then you could pact. Yeah, exactly. Then you do pact. But then your opponent loses. Exactly. But only on their upkeep. Ah, uh, I see. But technically, I, I assume they're gonna concede. This, this is a juicy one. This, this one is good. Th this is the most fun because it, you, you're not quite killing them. Because I, I love the moment where you put Hive Mind into play yeah. and your opponent reads it and they're like. Okay. Yeah, okay. This doesn't seem that bad. You don't even have any mana left. <laughs> and then you're gonna play Pact and it's like, wait, how are you gonna pay it? And then you say like, uh, 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 how are you how gonna, are you pay, gonna for pay it? <laughs> exactly. It's like beauty, you know? Like you're doing stuff and all of a sudden your opponent's forced to concede. <laughs> Very good. Magic. So you would say that counts? Oh uh, yeah, that, that counts. That's number one. That one's juicy. Yeah, so if you have anything, maybe even less needy of mana, I mean, those are pretty needy of mana, but Again, if you wouldn't need mana, why would you have a turn one combo? Like, you need to do something. Uh, you can put it in the comments. Uh, it's always interesting what people come up with. If you enjoyed this, leave a comment. Subscribe, right? <laughs> Subscribe, what's important? Subscribing, yeah, that's okay. actually a good idea. I haven't thought of that yet. And scroll down in the comments for other turn one combos. If you've got better ones that are not on the list, please let us know. And if you don't subscribe, you actually have to write subscribe in the comments. Yes, that's right. a punishment. The word subscribe. Yeah. And maybe, you know, we'll, we'll make a 3D model of Tan's head as a, head, as a coffee cup. <laughs> so thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.